Yeah, what we find is that as we uh, kind of realize we're in an environment that has rainfall and wind blowing on the building, then I want to make sure that should any water get past the window or leak past a little gap, that it would get underneath the bottom of the window and always leak to the outside. And so the technique is really something that's been quite perfected. The idea, I want a slight slope underneath that window to make sure that anything that gets that far into the building, if it should ever get there, always leaks to the outside. So I'm going to hand flash the bottom, which means putting a material on the bottom that prevents any moisture that could get there from ever finding the wall, the wood framing, and it's always brought to the exterior. So proper flashing is a remarkably important approach. Now, a few builders decide to take that approach, but not enough. And the direction of how windows um, cause problems in buildings. Most of the leaks and the problems we see in building industry is caused by water that might get around those windows. Um, all windows are moving and expanding and contracting. But what we want to make sure is that should that window leak over its lifespan, at year two, at year five, or year 20, that should any water get past that, it's still drop brought to the outside, and my house stays dry and durable. That's an important component. Pan flashing should be done in every home, but very few builders have taken that approach to make that happen. So in doing that whole entire system, the weather barrier, flashing of the windows, and all the penetrations is the only way to build a house today.